Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. And today's video is gonna be about how to implement Google Sign In in React Native with Firebase. So let's get right into the video. We have already created React Native app. Here I have created button for Google Sign In. So we will using React Native Firebase to implement Google Sign In. We need to create new Firebase project. So move into Firebase console. Click on add new project. Enter your project name. I name it Firebase. Choose or create Google Analytics account. I'll choose default account. So it creates our project. Here we have three options iOS, Android and web. Select Android to add Firebase to our Android app. Here we need to add Android app package name. So we need to open Android manifest file. Go to Android app src main then Android manifest.xml file. And copy this package name and paste over here. Other we skip for now. Now click on register app. You can download it right now or later. Press next. Add Firebase SDK. Add this line at project level build.gradle file. In the dependencies in build script. Add this line at app level build.gradle file. Also add these dependencies. Now press next button then press continue to console. Alright, press on gear button, go to project settings, add fingerprints. So here we need SHA certificates. So first we generate new key store file and then get SHA certificates. So its name is firebase.keystore and alias is fb alias. And using this command we'll get sign in certificates which is necessary to provide when we use firebase services. Alright, move to Android, then app folder. Here pass this command. Enter the password. Re-enter the password. Now enter corresponding detail or just press enter to skip this. Write yes, then enter. Now key store file successfully created. Now pass this command to get SHA certificates. Copy SHA1 key and paste at Firebase console and save this. You can also add SHA256 certificate. Now download this Google service.json file and place it in Android's app folder. Alright, install React Native Firebase app package. We already done this created Firebase project and configured with React Native. Now open authentication page, install Firebase auth module to use authentication method. Alright, move to Google. For Google sign in, we need React Native Google sign in. Go into that. So we need to import this. Then we need to configure this package. Here we have to configure scopes. So by this you can get access Google APIs. If we not include scope then we only can access some default scopes which allow to access profile info and user email. Then we need to add web client ID from Firebase console and this is required. Alright. If you want to access Google API on behalf of the user from your server, so you need to set offline access to true. And there are some optional configurations. Alright, so this is our sign-in method. So we will call google signin.signin method to get user info. We also can handle errors in Google signin. So move to RN Firebase site, import Google sign in and configure it. So we need to install React Native Google sign in package for this. Alright, now reinstall the app. Now for enabling Google sign in, 
we need to go to authentication tab press on get started so in sign in method select google sign in enable it select project support email save this all right it's enabled now open it again press over web sdk configuration and then copy web client id and paste over here now we'll create google sign in method and call it on press of touch of velocity import auth from react native firebase auth so first we will use this method and i will show you the difference just copy this and paste over here add console log to log user info also add console log to see error if any so we need to do one more thing we have configured firebase.keystore sh1 key in firebase console so we need to update gradle file change sign in configs so here change this file name change key alias and rest are same please note this is very important when we publish app over google play store you need to follow same process to generate new key store file and you need to follow the same process to generate new key store file and you have to add this release sign in config in app level build.gradle file it is required and then you need to generate SHA certificate from that release key store file and you need to add that SHA certificate in firebase console if you will not do this then google sign in won't work in release app so make sure to do this all right save this so once again reinstall the app because we have changed android apps gradle file now call this method select account so yeah we get this info here we get id token and we have get this default scopes now go to firebase console so in authentication we don't have any users yet but we just signed in and it is still not showing any users now we will use this method remove this and paste auth methods So here we also calling google sign in method and getting id token from this and then we use this id token to get google credentials and then calling or dot sign in with google let's lock this response so sign in again here you can see we get same user info and response now go to firebase console and refresh it Alright, you can see now we have one user who signed in right now. So if we want to get access token from this, so we need to call get token method like so. and log this access token so you can see we got access token so in this google sign in we have some more methods you can also add scope dynamically but this function works only in ios we have sign in silently we have is sign in method to check user sign in or not we have get current user method to get current user information we have clear cached access token we have get token which i have already shown you to sign out from google we have sign out method we have revoke access so it is basically remove your application from users authorized application we have has play service method to check if device has google play service installed or not here we also have google sign in button component so let's try this add google sign in button all right 
so it gives nice google logo with sign in with google text okay great so here we have some props for this button and this is user info response object which we get after calling google sign in method so we can add some additional scopes these scopes are required when we want to access some google apis using google sign in access token yeah here we have lot of scopes for different apis so let's add logout method So there is no any user signed in yet. So first sign in, now sign out. Yeah, we successfully signed out. Okay, all works. So thanks for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. And if you like this video, please subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Take care and bye bye.